Uh, let's get Kara on here. She wanted okay. our help because she wasn't quite sure if a coworker was acting out in this passive aggressive way towards her. Was this all in her head? And she wanted our help to try to figure this out. Is this dude just being mean or not? Hey, Kara, good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good. All right. So here's the thing about uh, passive aggressive people that I have realized is they know what they're doing. They know exactly what, but they make you question like what their motives are until you do. And then when you call them out, that's when they lose it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So what, what are these things that are happening that you think are directed towards you? Okay. So I saw a post and it is passive aggressive. It's on social media. And I, I think it's, it's towards me. So this past Monday morning, um, a coworker of mine, posted this on Facebook. So this is what it said. Hold on one second. So it says, guess what? The world doesn't revolve around one person, no matter how much drama you try to create. And I can't shake off the feeling that it might be aimed at me. And if it is, I am I'm kind of angry and I want to confront her. Okay. So the background is we've been working on this really important high stakes project together. And it's been really frustrating and to be honest, an emotional roller coaster for me. And so I started to notice that lately this coworker has been taking credit for some of my like best ideas during meetings and, and also in emails. And it's not just a one time thing. It's it's becoming a pattern. So it's one thing to take credit for someone else's work or ideas. However, I feel like it crosses another line when you start falsely placing blame for something bad mm -hmm. that goes wrong in the project. So, okay, so there was a situation where something went wrong and it wasn't anyone's fault. It, you know, with a little bit of investigating and effort, it could have just been explained and like, oh, okay, it, it didn't, it, you didn't have to assign blame to anyone, basically. However, this same coworker decided to find a way to throw me under the bus and make it seem like I'm incompetent. Okay. So uh, I would have not even known if I hadn't been added to this like longer email chain where I just went through all of it. And at the very bottom, I read that she blamed me. So I was furious and it really, it really did make me look bad. And now, I admit that I could have handled it better, but it just happened to be the other day I was super tired and already moody. So when I read it, I flipped out and I stormed into my manager's office to clear up the un misunderstanding, first of all, and also just make it known like, hey, she's been taking credit for some of my ideas. And so I completely vented and I don't know if my boss believed me or even cared you know, and I, I was just like, well, you know what? I just got all off my chest. And then a couple of hours later, I saw my coworkers Facebook post. And so now I'm convinced that it's about me, but before I confront her, I want to know if it really is. And I'm just curious if you can figure out a way to, to kind of just, reveal that it's me that she's talking about yeah it, it's without been, telling her i think it's me so it's it's my experience with passive aggressive people or the ones that gaslight they will never admit it to no. you they, never I, sometimes i think they're not even aware that this is the way that they live their life although there are others that say like no they know exactly what they're doing right so you'll never get that from her directly. And this would be a great opportunity, even if she is being passive aggressive, if you call her out I, in dealing with this before, I know that she will try to turn it around on you and make it such Good. a fuss. So you'll never get the answer that you want directly. Yeah. If you make that post about you, it's going to be the irony of like the world doesn't revolve around one person right. and she's going to be a look at you Good. making that post about you when it's not, et cetera. So I... Very familiar with people who subtweet, sub post, sub text, whatever. Um, for me, it's the post because it's so vague. Um, I understand it made you a f uh, feel a certain way. That's completely valid. 
However, it's not the post that's the issue. It, it's it's your coworker, mm-hmm. and I th- I feel like that's that's the root of the problem. This post you shouldn't be concerned about. You need to be more concerned about what's going on in the office. Hey, Abby. Kara, I also wonder what you have to gain by figuring out if it's about you or not because yeah. you've already done all you can work wise by going to your boss and it looks like if it is about you your boss has obviously already handled it behind the scenes so what do you have to gain here yeah i don't know if, he, if he's handled it or not i guess just to i don't know it's not i don't think it's an ego thing it's just to be like listen stop messing with me i let a lot, couple of things pass but now it's this is excessive and i want it to stop and i and then also on top of it to put this post, if it is about me, I, I understand if it's not about me, then I look a little foolish or she can make me look foolish, but mm-hmm. I don't know. I just want to, you're right. It is in the bigger picture what she's been doing, but I, I, I guess I just want to know All right, if well, it is about me, if we could find out. I can tell you that we got answers for you already, specifically our show director, Tommy. What did you, how did you handle it? Kara, I did reach out to your coworker, and I do have answers, and it is going to definitely make you feel a certain way. I will just say that. All right, you already knew that was coming, okay? Uh Uh, Give us a couple of seconds here, and we'll read their exchange, okay? Okay. Oh, one of my least favorite type people, the passive aggressive people, right? The ones that are manipulating all the time when there's no need for it. No need for it. Would you rather them just be aggressive? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be A G G. Yeah, we were done. Well, now you have to finish the word. A G G R A S S I V E. Be aggressive. I wouldn't have been able to spell it. I, wouldn't have, I would have messed up either the G's or the S's or something. I just want to say my cousins had sisters that were cheerleaders. Gotcha. That's why you're so good at that. Um, what was the question? Would you rather them? How be just be, I'd rather you just be an a-hole. Be aggressive. Just be I an a-hole. Too. Yep, right? completely. Just show me at least that you're an a-hole. Not these mind games. And it's so cowardly also, especially when you call them out. You finally call them on their um, their manipulation. And then they're so offended. Oh. What are how, you talking about? How dare you insult me thinking I'm that kind of... Gosh, I hate these people. <laughs> so Carrie here is dealing with one of these people at work. And you came to us. So uh, Tommy, our show director, he's the one behind the scenes that uh, reaches out, gets some answers if he can. Most of the time he does. So what do you got, Tommy? Yeah, I am interested to see how you finagled this to figure out <laughs> what her Facebook post well, like, Kristen, was about. One has to think fast on their feet. <laughs> And that's what I do. I reached out to Kara's coworker uh, via email. I explained who I am and that I'm from the Bird Show. And we do a segment called I'm Just Curious. And I explained that in this edition of I'm Just Curious, an anonymous Facebook follower of hers said that she's curious about a vague Facebook comment one of her Facebook friends posted. And I asked if she'd be willing to give us some details or the story behind her post. Guess what? The world doesn't revolve around one person, no matter how much drama you create. End well quote. played, Tommy. The coworker responded. She said, ha. So good. Sometimes you just need a way to vent and get things off your chest. I probably should delete the comment because I hate when other people post vague things. Without being too specific, I had some family drama mm. over the weekend uh-huh. that has spilled into this week. I'm still kind of dealing with it. Without diving too deep into the details, let's just say there's a family member who turns, who tends to turn every gathering into a whirlwind of drama and unfair personal attacks. Anyone with a narcissist in the family will understand. Everyone is just a character in their book, so their needs, wants, and perceptions of reality are all that matter. Let's just say a grown adult woman was able to ruin a four-year-old's birthday party because, for once, something wasn't about them. And the drama's still happening on a family group text that I just had to leave. Anyhow, that's what it boils down to. Hope that satisfies some curiosity. It has absolutely nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you. There you go. I told you you'd feel a certain way about it. Relief. (laughs) Are you disappointed? (laughs) (laughs) No, I'm I'm glad that I didn't confront her on that point. It's funny because she doesn't seem to have her own self-awareness, but she sounded like she... Definitely understands what a narcissist is, all that kind of stuff. But it's, I don't know what her deal is yet, but I 
I think Hulu had to find out that at least on that point, I I won't confront her. I think I'll just uh, maybe in a week. Yeah, our, our manager, our manager, like, hey, did you follow up? Does she know that I know what she's been doing? That I'll I'll see what he says. If he says yes, I I spoke to her and we we know what whatever the, the, that conversation. But I need at least some kind of resolution on that end. But I am. Yeah, I'm glad that it's not about me. I, I mean, I couldn't sleep the past couple of nights. I, it was, I, I was having imaginary conversations while driving, like what I was going to say to yeah. her. <laughs> we, I, I think we're all guilty of this. Well, if you're I, having imaginary dreams about driving over there to talk to her, just no, hit her with the car. No, she said while she was driving, she was having like <laughs> playing out scenarios and conversations in her head. Follow your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I think this is a valuable, valuable lesson for everybody listening, right? It's so easy for us to make things about us that have absolutely nothing to do with us. If anything, I hope that you have a little empathy for her because of what's going on in her personal life because you never know what's going on in other people's lives that may have them act a certain way at work, which has absolutely nothing Thing to do with you. If anything, with this information, I would pull her aside and have a one on one and come from a place of kindness and wanting to like okay. fix whatever issue you all have and be like, hey, I know this project's been really hard on all of us. What do you think you and I could do moving forward to make this as easy and as amicable and for us to get through this and just really knock it out of the park and just try to get on the same, like try to get on the same team? Yes. No, I know what you're saying because otherwise I'm just going to be furious every yes. day like going forward and 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 then that's a nicer way to call her out actually like to let her know i know but yeah yeah maybe i'll try that yeah, or you can go to your boss mm. right. <laughs> again mm -mm. the bird show